Welcome back to our channel ladies and gentlemen. Now how do we determine the red area of this radical geometry problem? So let us transfer this problem to the whiteboard. How do we determine the red area? Now getting the red area is very simple. The red area will be the area of the triangle. So if we let this to be triangle ABC, then the area of the triangle ABC it is a right angle triangle at point B will be a half base which is the length from b to c that is 16 times the height which is from a to b that is 12 minus the area of the inscribed circle which is given by pi r squared now if you simplify this a half times 16 times 12 you will get 90 96 then minus pi r squared so it means the red area will be 96 minus pi r squared now you know from the center of the circle to any point at the circumference is the radius r meaning from point o to any point at the circumference is the radius r so if you let this point to be x and this point to be y then it means bx is a tangent at the same time, yb is also a tangent. So if from O to Y is R, then from X to B is also R. And you know intersecting tangents are equal, meaning this is also R. Now if the length from A to B is 12 and from Y to B is R, then from A to Y is going to be 12 minus R. So if you let this point to be point Z, that tangent point to be point Z, then you can see the tangent AY is intersecting with the tangent AZ. So the tangent AY must be equal to the tangent AZ. So if from A to Y is 12 minus R, then from A to Z is also 12 minus R. Again, the length from B to C is given to be 16 and the length from B to X is R. Then it implies that from X to C is now 16 minus R. And you can see the tangents XC is intersecting with the tangent CZ. So XC must be the same as the tangent ZC. So if from X to C is 16 minus R, then automatically from Z to C is also 16 minus R. Now, if you look at the length AC, so the length AC you were given to be 20. Again, this length from A to C, the length from A to C is AZ plus A to Z plus Z to C. So that means from A to Z, from A to Z is 12 minus R. Then it is plus from Z to C 16 minus 16 minus R. So you get that length 12 plus 16 is 28 negative R and negative R is minus 2R. Now we have AC is 20 again here AC is 28 minus 2R. So it therefore implies that 20 is equals to 28 minus 2R because both of them are AC. So negative 2R coming this side, it becomes positive 2R. Then 20 going the other side, it becomes minus 20. So we now have 2R is equals to 28 minus 20. So it means R is equals to 4. Because we are going to get 2R is 8 implies R is 4. Now having found the radius, then now the red area we found is 96 minus pi r squared and r we found to be 4 so it is pi into 4 squared so we get that area is 96 minus 4 squared is 16 times pi so the red area is 96 minus 16 pi so you just use the theorem of intersecting chords then you should be able to determine the radius of the inscribed circle then in turn you will get the red area by subtracting the area of the inscribed circle from the area of the triangle. Thank you for watching and see you again in our next presentation. Don't forget to subscribe.